now the next topic is areas the basic idea of the area is whenever any surface is completely is surrounded by some set of lines suppose if i have like this this is one surface i want to find out the area that implies this is occupied portion only which i want to find out but the problem is here i don't have any specific structure like triangle cube square rectangle or anything but i will see that what extent i can convert this one into so many different pieces what i want to do is i want to draw a line here in the same manner in covering like this i want to draw the line here also i want to draw the line like this and then here i am getting it that implies i am able to get this portion here similarly i can find out the area of this portion this portion this and this 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 and this adding all these things we are going to get the area of the total but maximum extent what i have to do is we have to divide the portion into into the known portion areas then we have to divide this one into the two parts or number of parts then we have to find out the area this is the basic motto behind this area but where this is useful this is going to be the next question generally if any plot is there generally nowadays the people are believing about the astrology they say that it should be a square plot it should be a rectangular plot it should be suppose some dimensions we have to remove therefore in that cases in a specified location if we want to find out or if we want to construct a house these type of things are going to be useful and moreover in mechanical engineering by taking any product or any material if you want to design a required designs particularly we might have seen that in a marriage functions in everything we have seen the so many structures different structures to construct a different structures these type of areas of the sheets are going to be very much useful now we are going to see how these areas for a different things are there and then how to conduct the how to find out the areas we are going to see that area is a magnitude of a planar region just now we have discussed about the planar planar means the total complete covered by so many the curve that is called a planar region now area is a magnitude magnitude means what it is a quantifiable quantity it is a quantifiable means what simply we can see that dimensions and we can measure that this much portion is there that much whatever we are talking about it is known as quantifiable qualitative product qualitative one that is called a magnitude area should be expressed in terms of area is expressed in square units area is expressed in square units every time because of when we are dealing with the two sides or three sides or any number of sides naturally the volume can be discussed with respect to the cubic units therefore volume is nothing but totally related to suppose if you take a cube we are going to deal with l into b into h area l into b therefore whenever i am talking about the area we have to discuss with the square units whenever i am talking about the volume naturally we have to think about the cubic units area is a area is a sum of the areas of small portions small portions is this is the basic idea behind this small portion means for example if i have like this if i have a figure like this t i can find out the area here like this i can find out the area of this portion i can find out the area of this portion i can find out the area of this portion plus this one so that 
टू थ्री फोर एरिया ऑफ द टी रीजियन दट इज कॉल्ड इट इज लुकिंग लाइक ए टी स्ट्रक्चर एरिया ऑफ द टी रीजन इज सम ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ द फोर पीसेस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर दिस इज द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ दिस वन स्मॉल पोर्शन दिस इज अ स्मॉल पोर्शन दिस इज वन स्मॉल पोर्शन सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ वन इट इज अ स्मॉल पोर्शन एरिया नेक्स्ट एरिया ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम इज एरिया ऑफ ए पैरलोग्राम इज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट्स corresponding altitudes corresponding altitudes what does it mean we'll see this is a parallelogram this is one altitude let us call it as this is d1 this is d2 therefore it is a area of a parallelogram is always the product of the corresponding altitudes that is a d1 as well as d2 suppose there are two different lines are given i have a triangle like this now i have another triangle like this let us call it as this is a b c d i want to know that whether they have the same area or not first what i will do is i will take the altitude here another altitude i will take here this one is a base area of that triangle is equal to half into ac base into height the same manner area of another triangle adc half into the base ac into height is going to be the de therefore the areas for the both the triangles are going to be equal with regard to this there is one theorem areas in between the two parallel lines if any triangle two triangles are there then the areas are equal with the same base this is one theorem anyhow we are going to study that theorem in the subsequent sessions next we have seen that area of a square area of a square we have seen that the side into side let us call it as this side a the side a therefore a into a will give you a into a is equal to a square is the area of this area of this suppose if i want to find out area of a rectangle if i want to find out let us call it as l into b therefore area of a rectangle is length into breadth is the area of the rectangle like that we want to find out if the area of a circle naturally we are going to see that pi r square is the area of the circle like that we can find out so many other different areas now we are going to concentrate on certain basic theorems that is one is related to the pythagoras theorem other is related to if the areas with the same base between the parallel lines of two triangles are equal in areas